Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem very quickly. We have square root of x plus square root of x minus 1 equals 4. Now the first step we will take is taking this to the other side. So we have square root of x minus square root of x plus square root of x minus 1 equal to 4 minus square root of x. Okay, so what I have done is this. I needed to subtract square root of x from both sides so that it will cancel itself from here. And then here we have square root of x minus 1 to be equal to 4 minus square root of x. Right? Now, the next thing we'll do is to remove the square root. And we do that by squaring both sides. So I'm going to have square root of x minus 1 squared equal to 4 minus square root of x squared. Now the square root and the square will cancel. Now we will have um, x minus 1 equal to 4 minus square root of x multiplied by 4 minus square root of x. Now let's multiply this x minus 1 will be equal to 4 times 4, that will be 16, then 4 times this, that will give us minus 4 root x, then minus root x times this will give us minus 4 root x, then we have plus this and this will give us just x. Negative, negative will give the positive here. Now let's continue, x minus 1 is equal to 16 minus 8 root x plus x okay but then if you look at this well you will see that um, this and this can cancel so we have um, minus 1 equal to 16 minus 8 root x now let us rearrange this so that we will have 16 minus 8 root x equals minus 1. Okay, so the next thing is for me to take this to the other side. And if it does, we'll have minus 8 root x equal to minus 1 minus 16. Minus 8 root x will be equal to minus 17. The next thing is to divide both sides by minus 8 so that um, um, root x will be free. This is minus 8 though. Okay, so now root x is equal to 17 over 8. But then we are not looking for x alone. We are looking for root x. Now let's put this Let's square both sides so that we can have our x, you know, square this, square this. Now this will cancel this and then x will be equal to 17 squared over 8 squared. 17 squared over 8 squared. x will be equal to 17 squared is 289 and 8 squared is 64. So this becomes the value of x, but we would like to check if we are correct or not. Now the original equation is square root of x plus square root of x minus 1 equals 4. So if I put in the value of x, are we going to have 4 on the other side? That is the question. Okay, so in place of x now, I'm going to write 289 over 64 then plus here we have um, 289 over 64 minus 1 okay so square root of 289 is still 17 and square root of 64 is 8 
plus from here, let's find the LCM, but everything will still be under the square root, right? Which is 64. Then we have um, 289 minus 64. Now let's continue. This will give us 17 over 8 plus now 64. 289 minus 64. This will give us some. Um, okay, everything will still be under the square root sign. We have 225 over 64. Now let's continue from here. This means that we have 17 over 8 plus square root of 225 is 15. Square root of 16, um, 64 is 8. Now let's continue as we find the LCM which is 8. And we can equally add this up so that we have 32. Now, 32 over 8 is the same thing as 4. Okay, so this is a confirmation that, that um, x equal to 289 over 64 is the value that satisfies the given equation. Thank you for watching.